Thank you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking, Andrew. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> it's been a lovely day today. Oh, all right. Goshi, is that, yeah. you, am I saying it right? Yes, your pronunciation is perfect. I'm Goshi. <laughs> all right, nice to meet you, Goshi. Nice you to meet may you. call me Umer. Today I'm going to be your instructor, your language instructor. Okay, nice to meet you, Umer. Nice to meet you too. You know, I feel the same pleasure. So first mm -hmm. of all, can you hear me and see me? Well, yes, I can see you and hear very well. Oh, perfect. That's brilliant. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn off the fan. It was really uh, No problem. <laughs> I cannot oh, hear any noises. Thank you. Thank you. How is the temperature and the weather on your side? Um, I live in Germany and the temperature in my place is quite comfortable. So maximum temperature for today was 27 degrees Celsius. That's perfect. So I'm moving to Germany. I'm coming to your place. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really? When? No, no, I'm just joking. You know, we're neighbors. We live quite close. I'm, I'm in Poland. Uh, Poland? Yes. I see Poland is cooler than Germany, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Almost neighbors. You know, I think um, if, if I drive from my place for like four hours, I cross into Germany. It's All right. It's not that far. Okay. What city do you live right now? I live in Warsaw, the capital. Ah, Warsaw. Ah, I didn't know that from Warsaw to Germany is only four hours it's really by drive. Close. Yes, it's really okay. close. <laughs> oh, during my summer holiday, I went to Constance, which is uh, west side of uh, uh, Austria. So almost almost of uh, uh, on border of Austria. However, I think Austria is next to Poland, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't think so. Austria, we, it's not. We, we we're not uh, connected with the borders. Oh we, really? Okay. Yeah, we have Germany. We have Ukraine on one side, uh, and then. Uh, we have the Baltic Sea on the other side, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you know, to be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, no, I've yeah. I've been living here for a long time, but mm -hmm. yeah, but we're close. So how's we're life, close. Goshi? What do you do for a living? Oh, so far so good. And uh, aside from language, it is very convenient for me to live he here in Germany. But uh, you know, German language is very tough and uh, complicated. Right. So it's, I try to study German. However, <laughs> uh, just only a few vocabularies I, I remember. So okay. <laughs> it's very yeah, tough. It's hard, it's hard. And, and, and Ger with German, you know, the Another problem is the pronunciation, and you know, some words are so difficult to pronounce. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you need to have like special uh, training for the throat. Exactly. So, do you need uh, German for work? No, I don't need it. Thank and, uh, you. Good for so, you. yeah, even I live in, although I live in Germany, mm -hmm. I need, need to travel abroad uh, frequently. So, once or two times, uh, months, I need to travel abroad. Like last week, I went to Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Chile. Therefore, now my motivation for studying German is uh, decreasing. <laughs> so English is much, much important, much, much more important. important. Much important. Than German, yeah. right. you know, I would agree with you. But do you, do you get to travel all because of work? Are you a businessman? Do you work in a... In uh, yeah, I'm a businessman. I'm an employee of a Japanese company located in Germany as a coordinator, okay. as a business coordinator. So therefore, I, I need to travel abroad a lot. That's, that's, that's fantastic, you know. Um, but, you know, just before you joined in for the lesson, uh, mm -hmm. what a coincidence, I was reading some news about German economy. And, All right. Uh, 
to my knowledge, and as per this news, you know, the German economy is not doing so great. They're mm, industrializing, right. you know, some of the car manufacturing companies, they're closing their production units. Mm -hmm. So you live there, you tell me, um, what do you think? Uh, actually, I don't feel any negative aspect as a citizen of German, Germany, okay. because m maybe the re several reasons in behind. So first reason is my German skill. So it's difficult to catch the any news and the information Correct. written in German. And uh, but uh, even though I don't feel any, any negative, the serious uh, aspect in Germany. So it it is uh, a reality that uh, our neighbor do not close their business mm -hmm. recently. Of course, just after the COVID-19 situation, right. I saw many people are suffering from uh, deficit and uh, low business opportunity. But recently, it seems getting better and better. But if compared to before the COVID-19 situation, maybe still mm, not good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, inflation is crazy in Germany. So I think Poland as well. So yeah, almost 10 percent higher than the same period of last year. Yeah, 10 percent or more. Okay. Wow. Yeah, That's almost that. every yeah every week. Uh, product. It keeps going up and up every time. You know, with the people's salaries and the income. You know, sorry about that. It stays the yeah. same. But uh, inflation, it's, it's a real challenge for, for a lot of people. Right. Well, you know, may God help us all. That's all I can say, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, uh, Goshi, I see that you have uh, chosen a really interesting uh, daily news article. Shall we start with that? Yes, why not? All right, so fantastic. So let me invite you our today's topic of discussion. It All right. is the international tourism brings ja uh, challenges to Japan. Okay. That's the topic uh, that you've selected. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Fantastic. All right. What a nice selection, first of all. I love, oh, I love <laughs> Japan. I'm the biggest fan of Japan. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, before we get into the article, you know, it's a good idea to uh, go over some of the words first. Let me explain them to you, clarify them check your pronunciation because we would we will find these words later in the article mm -hmm. okay so the first word on the screen is influx i would like you to just say it after me once okay influx very good very good influx an example turkey is expecting an influx of several thousand refugees over the next few days okay Turkey is expecting an influx of several thousand refugees over the next few days. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful pronunciation. So, influx, it simply means the fact of large number of people coming mm -hmm. into a country. Okay. Very uh, good. Next word we have is unprecedented. Unprecedented. Very nice. An example, such an event was unprecedented in the 20th century. Such an event was unprecedented in the 20th century. Very good. 20th. Uh, 20th Very century. Nice. This time it was perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so unprecedented means never having happened before. There is no mm -hmm. example like this in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Next word, plague. Plague. Mm -hmm. Once again, plague. Plague. All right, all right. So, example, the team has been plagued by injury this season. The team has been plagued by injury this season. Very good. So, plague simply means to cause pain or to cause mm -hmm. trouble to somebody over a period of time. Okay. Okay, super. Yeah. Moving on to the next word, overwhelm. 
overwhelmed. Example, doctor's offices would be overwhelmed with phone calls. Doctor's offices would be overwhelmed with phone calls. Very nice. Overwhelmed simply means to be too much to deal too with. Too much, when yeah. You have too much of something, mm -hmm. you know, too much okay. of work. So that is overwhelming. Okay, the last word of the day, congestion. Congestion. Mm -hmm. Example, major airports will need new runways to relieve congestion. Major airports will need new runways to relieve congestion. Excellent, excellent. So congestion is a situation in which there is too much traffic. Okay. And movement, like in Tokyo, there's congestion all the time. And too much traffic and people and crowd and so on. Yes. All right, so any questions so far, my friend? Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. That's what I wanted to hear. Fantastic. So let's mm -hmm. move on to the next part, which is the comprehension. Please okay. check the directions on your side. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was the Tokyo International Airport able to do? Okay. What are experts concerned about the unprecedented amount of crimes at Mount Fuji? Okay. What does the mayor of Kyoto want to fix the city's transportation problems? All right. Okay, fantastic. So you have read the questions now for the first time. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to train your ears. We're, I'm yeah. going to play this article mm -hmm. for you. So just sit back and relax. Keep your okay. eyes on the text while you enjoy the audio. All right. So are you ready, my friend? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so let me present it to you. Here we go, and all the best. Okay. International tourism brings challenges to Japan. The number of visitors to Japan recovered to over 60% of pre-pandemic levels in the first few months of 2023. However, Japan is suffering from serious labor shortages in the hotel industry. We finally emerged from a long COVID-19 tunnel, the president and CEO of All Nippon Airways said. Tokyo International Airport was finally able to reopen a facility for international flights as more and more visitors entered the country. Sales of duty-free goods have surged. A department store operator recognized that customer spending is on average double what it was before the pandemic, with people buying a lot of expensive items. Despite this success, many hotels in Ryokan were forced to let go of workers during the height of the pandemic, and they are now struggling to secure new employees. The influx of tourists has created problems at some tourist destinations too. At Mount Fuji, for example, experts are concerned that there will be an unprecedented amount of climbers, which could lead to people becoming ill or injured. In Arashiyama, Kyoto, residents are plagued by large amounts of litter on the sidewalk, and someone who works at a ryokan in Kyoto said that the local transportation system is being overwhelmed by tourists. The mayor of Kyoto has suggested separating tourist transportation from local transportation. However, this may not be enough to fix all of the city's problems. The central government is planning to introduce measures to ease congestion, and further action will likely be necessary. Okay. All right. So, would you like me to? Would you like to hear it again, or that's okay? That's okay. Okay. Fantastic. So now let's proceed with the questions and check your comprehension. How well were you able to understand this article? So okay. I'm just going to read out the first question to you. See if you can answer this question. So okay. what was Tokyo International Airport able to do? Okay, Tokyo International Airport was able to reopen a facility for international flights as more and more visitors entered the country. Very good. And could you find the reason for that? Okay, because of the after COVID-19 pandemic, so it is the situation has been normalized, so they are able to reopen the facility. Excellent, perfect answer, good job. All right, the second question. Why are experts concerned about the unprecedented amount of climbers at Mount Fuji? 
Okay, uh, uh, let me see. Experts are concerned that there will be unprecedented amount of climbers which could lead to people becoming ill or injured. Very good. So that's the reason. Uh, it's because the, it could lead to people becoming ill or injured. Excellent. Yeah. All right, number three, the last question. Um, how does the mayor of Kyoto want to fix the city's transportation problem? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 the mayor has suggested separating tourist transportation from local transportation mm -hmm. to, uh, yeah, to overwhelm the congestion. of congestion yeah. well done well done very good all the answers are correct my friend that's brilliant so now uh, we still got great time I think we should also practice reading a little bit so I can help oh. you with your pronunciation as well uh, okay okay do you think yeah. it's a good idea yeah good idea <laughs> all right so please kindly read it for me and I'll be taking notes and I'll share it with you at the end of the lesson all right. Okay, let me start. International tourism brings challenges to Japan. The number of visitors to Japan recovered to over 60% of pre-pandemic levels in the first few months of 2023. However, Japan is suffering from serious labor shortages in the hotel industry. We've finally emerged from a long COVID-19 tunnel the president and the CEO of All Nippon Airways said, Tokyo International Airport was finally able to reopen a facility for international, air, uh, international flights as more and more visitors entered the country. Sales of duty-free goods have surged. A department store operator recognized that customer spending is on on average, double what it was before the pandemic, with people buying a lot of expensive items. Despite this success, many hotels and ryokan were forced to let go of workers during the height of the pandemic, and they are now struggling to secure new employees. The influx of tourists has created problems at some tourist destinations too. At Mount Fuji, for example, experts are concerned that there will be an unprecedented amount of climbers which could lead to people becoming ill or injured. In Arashiyama, Kyoto, residents are plagued by large amounts of litter on the sidewalk and someone who works at a ryokan in Kyoto said that the local transportation system is being overwhelmed by tourists. The mayor of Kyoto has suggested separating tourist transportation from local transportation. However, this may not be enough to fix all of the city's problems. The central government is planning to introduce measures to ease congestion, and further action will likely be necessary. Awesome. Well done. Beautiful. You know, I really love your pace, the speed at which you're reading. It's really nice. It's understandable. Uh, your intonation, you're taking pauses at the right places. So. I will give you two thumbs up for reading. Oh, thank you so much for your kind yeah. comment to me. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Believe me, it's my real pleasure to work with you. So uh, let's, let's spend a couple of minutes uh, discussing these questions. So, uh, okay. Great. Um, I mean, uh, you're originally from Japan, right? Yeah, I'm from originally from Japan. Okay. So, so I'm a native Japanese speaker. Oh, fantastic. So maybe it's better for, for us to discuss Japan. So the first question okay. I have for you is now after reading this article, I'm sure it must be, it must have touched you. So are you happy mm -hmm. that more tourists are visiting Japan? 
Um, if you say yes, then why? If you say no, then why not? Please present your reasons. Okay. Um, I so it's tough question to me because I live in Germany, so I don't know exactly what the Japanese situation is right now. But uh, based on the article and the news article on the internet, uh, the visitor number, the number of the visitors coming to Japan is increasing. Yeah, recently after COVID nineteen, and uh, and. Uh, uh, not only COVID nine post COVID nineteen situation, but also the uh, weak Japanese yen situation in the world. Okay. So, for example, now one euro equal one hundred fifty-five Japanese yen, okay. but last year it was one hundred thirty around one hundred thirty uh, Japanese yen equal one euro. Okay. It means. No, I, I'm a rich person if I go back to Japan. <laughs> so, maybe. Yeah, but, it, but it's not good for the, Jap for the Japanese economy. The yen is losing its value. Exactly. Therefore, it's a good chance to invite many tourists. And also, the number of uh, tourists are increasing thanks to the weak yen situation. So, so it's good for the economy. You know, the tourists will come, spend money, you know, buy mm -hmm. things. But what about the environmental impact? You know, like mm -hmm. in the article it was discussed, there was uh, the crowding, the littering, and you know, unfortunately, when there are too many tourists, I know we have this problem in in Germany as well. You see, in right. Spain, there are so many tourists, and yep. they just don't respect the place. You know, they just make it <laughs> dirty. Okay. Uh, honestly speaking, the situation is much better than last year in Germany. So last year, especially in summer season, okay. it was crazy situation. Many people are uh, in the city and the airports and some aircraft uh, no longer operated uh, due to the uh, labor shortages. But this year, the situation uh, has been uh, improved. And uh, it, the same thing should be uh, on the Japan. So maybe in spring this year in Japan, it was a yeah, nightmare. <laughs> Not only for tourists, but also local people, like uh, the, the article mentioned. But recently, the labor shortage is uh, recovering. Okay, thank God. Yeah, th that's why I think situation is better than before. Mm -hmm. Maybe the basically news article always, uh, how should I say, over, exaggerate. over, yeah, I say exactly, ex exaggerate the situation. Well done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get attention from the readers. That's right. Yeah. So to add a little spice to the news. You know, exactly. The news. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that was a fantastic answer. You know, really, really nice. All right. We have two minutes. You know. Uh, okay. Now let's stop with the with the lesson. I really would like to share my notepad with you. Okay. I've picked yes. out some words for you for pronunciation. And uh, congratulations, I couldn't really find any grammatical mistakes, only one at the end, and I will highlight that. So here we have some of the words which I have picked all throughout the lesson. I just want you to go ahead and repeat these words after me, how okay. I say it, okay? Okay. I know for a lot of um, the Japanese people, the alphabet R is a big problem. Mm. Oh, yeah. So let's, let's try and simplify that. So the first mm. word is... Border. Border. Okay. Well done. Very good. Second word. Tough. Tough. Uh -huh. Oh, this is this is perfect. Abroad. Abroad. Oh, nice. Frequently. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Mexico. Mexico. Deficit. Deficit. You use this word on your own, and I want. 
to congratulate you on using a higher level word. That was a very nice use of vocabulary there. Next word, unprecedented. Unprecedented. Challenges. Challenges. Tunnel. Tunnel. All right, so has. Has. Look, I'm smiling, has. Has. Oh, yes. You were saying it has, and I'm saying has. 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 Same is the uh, word at. At. Very nice. Climbers. Climbers. Yes, you said climbers, but there is no B sound. Yeah, yeah. It's silent. Climbers. Okay. Climbers. Okay, let's stop. You may copy okay. the words. We have seven yeah. seconds. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed Thank you for time. Yes, see you next time. See you. Bye-bye. Bye